Hello friends, a very warm welcome to my channel and I am Dr. Prashant and we are going to talk about lymphoma, leukemia and the classifications of lymphoma and the differences between Hodgkin's lymphoma and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. So let's start. So what is leukemia and what is lymphoma? What is what is leukemia? What is lymphoma? Lymphoma. So, so it is a tumor of immature white blood cell. Tumor of immature white blood cell. So, if it involves, if it involves, if it involves the bone marrow, if it involves the bone marrow or peripheral bloods or peripheral peripheral blood it is called as leukemia and if it involves the organ and the lymph nodes it involves the organ or the lymph node it is known as lymphoma so the tumor of immature WBC if it involves the bone marrow and the peripheral blood it is known as the leukemia if the tumor of immature WBC, if it involves the organ or the lymph node, it is known as the lymphoma. Okay. Now, every leukemia can have lymphoma form and vice versa. Every leukemia can have lymphoma form and every lymphoma form can have, can go into leukemia. So, it's a vice versa. So, now we are going to talk about the classifications of lymphoma WHO has classified lymphoma into Hodgkin's lymphoma and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma Hodgkin's lymphoma and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma Hodgkin's lymphoma is further classified into classical Hodgkin's lymphoma and non-classical Hodgkin's lymphoma and classical Hodgkin's lymphoma is then further classified into nodular sclerosis, mixed cellularity, lymphocyte predominant and lymphocyte poor. So these are the four subtypes of classical Hodgkin's lymphoma. Now coming to non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma is classified into B cell type and T cell type. B cell type is further classified into immature type of B cell type and mature B cell type okay similarly T cell type is also further classified into immature and mature T cell type now this B cell type as it is, as it is classified into immature and mature immature is called as precursor B cell they are precursor B cell and the example is pre BALL and in mature type of B cell type it's known as peripheral cell type so matures are peripheral B cell type and the examples are mantle cell lymphoma CLL or SLL chronic lymphocytic lymphoma and small lymphocytic lymphoma and follicular lymphoma so these are peripheral B cell type of mature B cell. Now coming to T cell type. This T cell type is also classified into immature and mature. Mature type, immature, immatures are precursor T cell. That is, pre, that is pre T cell ALL. And mature, matures are called as peripheral T cells. And examples here are mycosis fungoides, mycosis fungoides, anaplastic large cell lymphoma, anaplastic large cell lymphoma, and enteropathy T cell lymphoma, and enteropathy T cell lymphoma. So this is overall about non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. So we had started as Hodgkin's lymphoma has been classified into classical and non-classical. Now classical. Uh, classical Hodgkin's lymphoma is further classified into nodular sclerosis, mid 
a mixed cellularity lymphocyte predominant and lymphocyte poor now now let's talk the let's talk in detail okay so nodular sclerosis nodular nodular sclerosis it has the best prognosis it is the best prognosis classical hodgkin's lymphoma so nodular sclerosis is the best prognosis it has the best prognosis okay so overall overall best prognosis is nl phl that is nodular lymphocyte lymphocytic predominant hodgkin's lymphoma which is a non classical type okay so this is non classical type so it has overall best prognosis but when it talks about best prognosis in classical hodgkin's lymphoma best prognosis is nodular sclerosis now uh, it involve it is present more in young age so male and females are equally affected so it presents with mediastinal mass on histopathological examination on histopathological examination we see eosinophilic collagen bands so you see eosinophilic collagen bands and lacunar rich tone box cell is seen so so these are so you see eosinophilic collagen band eosinophilic is is you see eosinophilic collagen bands with clear cytoplasm and these are like nodules and so they are lacunar so they have lacunar rich tone box cell now coming to mixed cellularity mixed cellularity it's the most common type in india so mixed cellularity is most common type in india or developing countries so it has biphasic age group distribution so even the young and old are affected so it is seen in the young as well as in the old it is associated with b symptoms so b symptoms are fever night sweat weight loss etc so if the b symptoms are present it could be mixed cellularity so mixed cellularity is also associated with epstein barr virus and hiv infections on microscopic examination you will be able to see mononuclear red rich tone box cell so this is mixed cellularity now coming to lymphocyte predominant it has good prognosis and mono uh, mononuclear rich tone box cells are present now coming to lymphocyte poor lymphocyte poor is it has the worst prognosis it has the worst prognosis it affects mainly the young patients and on histopathological examination you see pleomorphic rich tone box cell you see pleomorphic rich tone box cell so in this cell you see dystrophic calcification you you'll be able to see dystrophic calcification once the calcification starts it is known as mummified rich tone box cell so it is mummified rich tone box cell is also known as hodgkin cells so they are atyp atypical histocytes so now coming to non classical hodgkin's lymphoma non classical is also known as nodular lymphocytic predominant hodgkin's lymphoma so non classical is also known as nodular lymphocytic predominant hodgkin's lymphoma or nl phl so these are lymph this have lymphocyte predominant so it is lymphocyte predominant it has the best prognosis so nl phl has the best prognosis are more commonly seen in young patients and cervical and axillary axillary lymph nodes are enlarged so you will see lymph nodes enlargement in the cervical area and the axillary region and it is not associated with epstein barr virus so nl phl non nodular lymphocytic predominant hodgkin's lymphoma is not associated with epstein barr virus infection on microscopic examination you will be able to see lymphocyte histocyte rich variant of rich tone box cell also known as popcorn cell so you'll be able to see popcorn's popcorn rich tone box cell so it is lymphocyte predominant hodgkin's lymphoma so how is popcorn rich tone box cell so so the nucleus could be so nucleus could be either polypoidal or it could be multi nucleated nucleus so these are the popcorn rich tone box cell so look at the nucleus so nucleus you see is polypoidal 
a irregular polypoidal and it is multinucleated. So what are the markers of classical and non-classical Hodgkin's lymphoma? So in non in non Hodgkin's in non-classical Hodgkin's lymphoma, the marker used are CD15, CD30, BCL6. So BCL6 is a germinal center marker. So it's a germinal center origin marker. Now CD15 and CD CD30 they are negative. BCL6 is positive. So BCL6 is a germinal center origin marker. And other markers are CD20 and CD45. Now similarly we looking at the marker of classical Hodgkin's lymphoma marker CD15 is positive and CD30 is positive so CD30 you will see in more than 90% of cases so both are positive both are seen and CD30 is more in compared to CD15 so it is most common more common now let's talk about differences between Hodgkin's and non Hodgkin's lymphoma so this is the difference between Hodgkin's and non Hodgkin's lymphoma so in Hodgkin's lymphoma single group of lymph node is involved single group of lymph node is involved whereas in non Hodgkin's lymphoma chain of lymph node is involved chain of lymph node is involved in Hodgkin's lymphoma extra nodal lymph node involvement is rare whereas in non Hodgkin's lymphoma extra nodal lymph node involvement is more common in Hodgkin's lymphoma you will see that the spread is orderly in contiguity so um, so the, if this is a, these are the cell the cell will uh, be will spread orderly will, will spread from one cell to the other cell in contiguity whereas there is no orderly spread in non Hodgkin's lymphoma in Hodgkin's lymphoma, mesenteric lymph nodes and the Waldeyer's ring, they are rarely involved. They are rare. The involvement is rare. Whereas in non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, the mesenteric lymph nodes and Waldeyer's ring are more commonly affected. So this is non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. So now revising the whole thing. So we have seen lymphoma has been classified into Hodgkin's and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and Hodgkin's lymphoma Hodgkin's lymphoma is uh, classified into classical and non-classical Hodgkin's lymphoma. Classical Hodgkin's lymphoma has nodular sclerosis, mixed cellularity, uh, lymphocyte predominant and lymphocyte poor. Whereas non-classical Hodgkin's lymphoma is also known as nodular lymphocytic predominant Hodgkin's lymphoma. And the other group of classification is non-Hodgkin's lymphoma where the non-Hodgkin's lymphoma was divided into B cell type and T cell type. B cell type and T cell type is further divided into immature and mature. So these are the examples. Uh, okay, this is all for today.